Our next comedian has been around here quite a while. Give it up for Phil O'Reilly! Phil O'Reilly! Right next to uh, uh, City. <laughs> All right, come on up, Phil. Here we go. Give it up. Come on, let's hear the applause here. All right, Phil, be careful. So, um, woke up to an erection. Nice one. Woo. Wake up. Wasn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to come out to my parents. You know, I really wanted to come out to my parents, like at the holidays there, but, um, they're dead. <laughs> hey, um, I'm about the laziest guy you can imagine. What I've done recently is I filmed myself jerking off, and now when I want to jerk off, I just watch the film. <laughs> <laughs> Life's real easy that way, right? I, um, I'm an ex-altar boy in recovery. <laughs> When I was an altar boy, I molested these two visiting Polish priests. I wasn't proud of that. I didn't know they were Polish. <laughs> um, um, tell you a little bit more about myself. I put out. Um, I give it up. Uh, I like it rough. Uh, anybody here likes it rough? Yeah. Likes my women's like I like my deodorants. I like them old and spicy. <laughs> so how old am I? I'll give you an idea how old I am. Uh, I started shopping at Old Navy, but then it was just called Navy. <laughs> I'm married. I'm married as old as that lady was that was here earlier. I'm married for 23 years myself. And uh, my wife is Cuban. Um, says she's Cuban. I don't know. She could be from New Jersey. I don't know. Uh, the attractive thing was uh, was her beard. I really loved her beard. <laughs> <laughs> that woman, right? Yeah, terrific. And uh, we have a daughter named Enemy Combatant. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The latest. I need a chair for this. She said she wanted to have a talk with me, my daughter. So you know what that means, right? She's pregnant, right? What else could it be? Worse. She said she wasn't taking any more bubble baths with me. <laughs> right? No more bubble baths. And I just spent four thousand dollars to, you know, enlarge the uh, bathtub. Right? Saturday night, Saturday night. Right? <laughs> and I started begging. Right? I didn't believe her at first. I started begging. I said, uh, "I'll do it sober." <laughs> I said, uh, I'll wear a bathing suit. <laughs> Hit the streets, buddy. This has been a tradition in my family for the past 17 years. Just like that. She drops me. <laughs> Any dog owners? Yeah. You got a dog? Yeah. What kind of dog? Uh, Brittany Spaniel. Brittany Spaniel. Anybody ever heard of that before? I never heard of that. <laughs> I'm a dog owner. Brought my dog owner ID here. Hey, I couldn't pull you. Uh, my daughter before before she moved out, she uh, she found a pit bull. We rescued a pit bull, brought her home. Right, meaning she found this dog and brought her home. And we've had this dog for six years. And this is what I do in my life now. I'm retired. This is what I do in my life. I walk the dog. I go to a show. I walk the dog, I go to a mic, I go, it's the, everything in between, and my wife allows me to go out, right? Here's the dumbest thing that people say to you when you're out walking your dog. We have a dog run near us, you know, in the, in the, in the park, and it's just segregated area just for dogs. And I'm in there with her on the leash, and the guy will walk up to me like once a month and say this to me. Is that your dog? And I'll say, no, uh, we meet here. <laughs> what makes you think that's my dog since I got it on a leash, right? Like they rent dogs and uh, impress people. Rent dogs, right? Why do they call aspirins white? Anybody? Because they work. <laughs> I'm a liberal racist. Any liberal racist here? 
<laughs> this is what a liberal racist does. Liberal racist listens to the liberal radio station, and I'm listening, and it said that no African Americans, no black people, also known as African Americans, no black people are going to our national parks. None. I looked at my wife and I said, Hey, road trip! <laughs> Ooh, that was a tough one, okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, yeah, uh, I used to be a chauffeur. I used to be a chauffeur and I got a, um, a blood clot in my leg and I had to quit work. And uh, it was one of those scenes uh, with the bucket list, you know, in the hospital. I'm there with my wife and I told her that, you know, before I died I'd like to try stand-up comedy. And she said, be quick about it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, is it, and at that time we were married at least 15 years, and I never brought the subject up. You know, it was always like in the back of my mind, like, you know, wearing women's clothing and latent homosexual tendencies and all this stuff. And I just never brought it up, and I told her, I, I, you know, that's what I wanted to do. And that was seven years ago, and I finally made it, finally made it here. So, like, uh, I'm moving along very quickly, yeah. you know, very, very. Very rapidly, you know, it'll it'll happen big for me real soon, right? I just I just had my birthday. I just turned 67, wow. six seven, right? So I'm just, you know, I'm uh, I'm paying everything with a credit card, cause you know, in a month I might be dead. I don't know, right? Yeah. Last time I came, I came dust. I mean, you know, it's not gonna last that much longer. I'll be out of here, right? So um, this is my this. I appreciate you all sticking around, okay? And I'm gonna tell you one last thing. And I'm gone. And I tell you, I played to some empty audiences, and I'm glad you people are still here. Um, I'm watching the Oscars with my wife, and I had I had, I had a revelation. You know, there was this big theory about um, those uh, actresses that won the Oscar and then had uh, gotten divorced. You know, the whole slew of them, right? And I'm watching that with her, and I went, I went over the litany of the names, right? I said. Well, uh, what's her name? Halle Berry won the Oscar and got divorced. And Hillary Swank won twice and she got divorced. Reese Witherspoon won, she got divorced. And now uh, Sandra Bullock won and she got divorced. And I said to my wife, uh, do you ever think about taking acting lessons? <laughs> I'm out of here. Thank you. Thanks for sticking around. All right. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's hear it. Yeah. What a wife. That's it. You're going to fucking die soon. That's what it's about.